Hello everybody and welcome back to the beautiful Krumbach map. Very nice in Germany here. And we are basically progressing today with our very short harvest. Well, when I say today, I mean this episode. Obviously we need to rest before this wheat field is totally ripe. But I have plans. I have plans to make this series more diverse than my other series. Um, uh, mainly the Zilonka one. So I'm just going to be using different mods through different times uh, in this series. The first one, which I want to use at some point, is a dryer for corn. When I say corn, I actually mean corn, not wheat. I know some people call wheat corn. Um, so obviously we don't have a cornfield, but there are cornfields around which we could purchase if we took out a loan. This one here is very tempting because it's nearby. I think there's another one. Yeah, there's another one up here, uh, but that's going to be more expensive. Uh, so yeah, 38 is definitely on the cards, I would say. For, for buying and harvesting. But let me just show you the mod itself. We're not buying it right now. We, we can't afford it, we're not really ready. But very soon, we will. So the dryer itself actually isn't that expensive. It is exactly as it sounds. It is a dryer for corn. It will turn wet corn into dry corn, which basically pushes the price up. So you can make more per 1,000 liters. It will not be going here, but that's the general idea. Uh, it takes Propane, we'd have to put propane into it, which is, again, something else we'd have to buy for it, but that is not a major problem at all. It's just nice and interesting. It's just more interesting than just harvesting corn and selling it. Also, it comes with cell points, several cell points, which I've already placed one of. I have placed the fast food restaurant over at the store. Um, so that, yeah, basically just gives us a place to take it to after we have dried it. And uh, the current price is about 1500 per 1,000 litres, but you can get over £2,500 for 1,000 litres, so that's not bad, especially if you compare it to the current price for corn. Uh, this is the uh, dry corn. Uh, if you look at the current price for corn, it is, yeah, it peaks at 15, so you can essentially get at least £1,000 more if you sell it at the best time. Right, so that's that. I just wanted to explain that very quickly. This will not take too long to harvest, uh, we're going to have to rest though. I decided to have a power nap in the field, so I'm still stood here. <laughs> but, ah, no, it's not ready. Why is it not ready? I'm sure it should have been ready. It's October now, for crying out loud. What's going on? Interesting. Well, at least it's progressed 38 as well. Uh, they're going to be ready in the same month. So, are we really going to have to move on to November to harvest wheat? What's going on? Okay, um, well, we will do that, but we need to, of course, check up on the rest of the farm first to make sure we're not going to mess anything up, uh, such as the fertilising on this field over here. To be honest, it should be fine, because we've only got maybe two growth stages on there, maybe one, actually. Yeah, it's probably the first growth stage. So no, we should be good, um, but we could fertilise it. Should we fertilise it? Otherwise, we're doing literally nothing in October. We don't have row crop tyres, but do we need them? at this stage. Uh, I need to change my working width. Do we need them? No. Okay, good. Oh, actually, do we, we do we need, no, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? We don't need to do this. It's done. Kind of. <laughs> Not that well, but it is done. So, no, we'll, we'll just take this to the uh, other field after drilling. For now, we will take the trailer. Yes, I completely overlooked the fact that I had used the um, Chop Straw mod, which gives us an application of fertiliser, which is always really nice. We are going to have to fertilise this next field twice, though, because I'm not going to use Chop Straw. We are going to bale it for the cows. Which we don't have yet. We don't have the cows. But we will do. Yeah, good job I noticed, otherwise I'd have just spread a load of fertiliser for no reason. It's a nice time of the year with the autumn. Nice trees, good colours. And yeah, loving this tractor. I knew I was going to love this tractor, that's why I got it. Now the turning is actually quite hidden. It's just here. Head down here. Yep, 
Yeah, so we're gonna have to move on to November and make sure that field is ready. I just don't understand why it's so late for a wheat field. That is just bizarre. Gone back to the house this time. I didn't think having two power naps would be a good idea. Even more beautiful today. Yeah, very nice. Right. Oh, good grief. Does this feel glitched or something? I'm sure that was ready to harvest. Or oh, second, uh, last gross edge. It was, it was last gross edge. That field is not moving. Okay, that's weird. Um, well, what we can do, you can see it's fertilized 0%, so yeah, I can just copy that information and get it to be ripe. There we go. Yeah, it must have glitched. Just trying to see where the best place is to put the header on. Maybe further up, actually. That might be a good place. Uh, but yeah, we'll get it harvested and we'll get it baled today. And we'll get the bales put into the shed. And I'm hoping to put the next crop in as well. But I don't know, that might be pushing it. Because uh, the baling usually is a little bit time consuming. Oh, I love this atmospheric fog. I think it's a volumetric fog is what they call it. It looks so good in the autumn. You know, when it's really damp. Yeah, well, hopefully that farmer won't mind me putting that there. Spin round. And yeah, we will be changing the combine probably after this in-game year. Oh, that's not good. Getting a bit excited there. Unfold, thank you. Right, so we'll put it back onto chop. Make sure we're chopping. Right, so put it back onto swath. Need to make sure we're swathing this. Turn the beacon off. Yeah, lovely. Okay. Yes, it's not a big field. In fact, what I could do is just put it on a worker. And I could go and get the baler. We'll go around the headland once, and then I'm sure a worker is capable of finishing this nicely. We will see. Well, in the end, that was actually really fast. So, we've got a few bits that the worker didn't like. Doesn't surprise me. But we can get those really quickly. And then we're going to get the telehandler with the bale fork. Um, or maybe a pallet fork. And just bring them back to the yard. We don't need the trailer. It, actually, we do have a trailer. Yes. We shall use it. I was thinking we don't have one. Um, it wouldn't be worth buying one. But I think we do have a modified trailer, which has the sides removed so we shall go with that yeah so after this it's just drilling and then really I want to get the uh, field over there if we can do I think it's that one you can see the brown field 
to be the cornfield. We can't really wait another month though, and we don't want the current owner to harvest it. So we're gonna have to buy it pretty sharpish. Like now. Is that full? Yeah, looks like it is. Okay. Yeah. If we take out a loan, make sure they haven't harvested it. No, they haven't. We need a hundred and what, hundred and twenty-five thousand in total. Um, so really, we, we don't want to be left with nothing. So I think probably to play it safe, we want to take out maybe eighty-five thousand pounds. That would be uh, that'd be good. Um, we don't have anything out at the moment, so we'll go with eighty-five. So we're left with about ten. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Of course, we're going to have to rent a header to be able to do it. We're going to have to build the dryer as well. But very soon, in fact, the next month, we're going to be selling all of our wheat. So that should cover all of that. We've got all the wheat from the previous field and the wheat from this field, which probably does come to, I don't know, what would it be? 30 or 40,000 litres? It's pretty good. But I like this map. I really like this map. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you can see the flatbed trailer over there. It's a Welga trailer, just like this one, but only in the bale configuration. And actually, we probably don't need to take this trailer back to the field, because we can bring the combine back up. So that means we can take the flatbed instead. How much do we have in storage? So far, 26,000. So yeah, we'll probably be like 30,000 in total, which is quite good. Oh no, it's a dolly trailer. I'm never going to be able to reverse it. I'm not keen on dolly trailers. Oh, the slightest movement. And you've messed up. One wrong move. Oh, careful, Dagawin. Right, that'll do. Good. Yeah, so we should be able to put those bales on this trailer without any problems at all. Uh, the telehandler's there, so yeah, it's good. I'm putting the trailer on this tractor because it's quite a steep hill we're going to have to pull them up. The telehandler might be able to do it, but it's not ideal. And of course we have probably one more bale to produce. Alright, there we go. We're in the field. Back into the fence. Hopefully we do get another bale. Although, looking at it, it's unlikely. Still got a little bit to get with the combine as well. Right. Yeah, it's not going to be another bale. <laughs> no chance. But it will remain, what we've got will remain in the baler. So next time we do a field, it's going to be transferred and it will pop out then. So that'll be good. Right, so... Obviously, I'll clean up any mess which comes from the combine in just a second. But we'll turn the engine off there. Uh, I think we've got a little piece over there. Yeah, we have a small piece over there. I don't think we need to be too particular with this because it's just... What, what is it going to be, like three litres? We've got 1,533 currently. Yes, three litres. <laughs> a good guess. You could say it's worth it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess every litre counts. It's not going to make us rich, but 
yeah, they all add up. And there we go. Okay. Yeah, so we should be able to just go straight back up to the farm with this. I will try and attach the header trailer. I've left it at a really bad angle. Right. Lovely. So how many bells did we actually get? Was it just threes? Oh, okay. We can actually <laughs> carry three with the telehandler without even using a trailer. But as we have it here now, we'll use it. Straight out the auger into the pit. Yeah, so actually it's not 30,000 litres yet. It's going to be like 27 something, but still not bad. And I think we'll probably park the combine in this shed over here because that is going to be it for this year. As far as I'm aware, we'll have to check, but as far as I'm aware, we don't have any more fields to harvest. Let's have a quick look. Um, obviously ignoring 38, I know about that. Oh! Number 9. How have I overlooked number 9? <laughs> Canola! The canola is not ready in November. Okay, that might be another field that needs a bit of assistance, so we'll do that next time. Um, but yeah, we do have field number nine. Crikey. Actually, we do have, overall, a lot of fields just dotted around. So yeah, that'll be a job for next time, canola harvesting. Uh, but for today, we want to sort out this other one, which we're currently working in. So let's get the telehandler. It already has the bell spike, so that makes it easy. Uh, nice pictures there. Put the beacon on. Let's go and load up. We have a logging trailer. We'll probably sell that as well to fund the dryer. In fact, hopefully we'll be drying in the next episode. That'll be really good. Just depends when I do the uh, canola. But it probably will be uh, the episode after next because we'll just do the corn and then move on to that in the same in-game day. We could probably put these on uh, like this, this orientation. That'll prevent them from rolling. Let's boom out. Should get three on there, hopefully. You could probably get four on there. But that will have cleared the field. And we've got straw now for the cows when we get those in the future. So yeah, we'll just come back into here with that drill. It's a three meter drill, but it is a direct drill. So we don't have to cultivate first. And we'll get this field turned around and we'll probably put something like... Uh, well, it's November, we've got seasonal growth on, so we're going to have to be careful. Uh, it shouldn't be too late to do winter wheat, so we could put a second wheat in. Nice. Throw a few straps over. Our sausage. <laughs> and we will get going. 33,000 litres. And actually, it was more than that because we left some in the baler. And they can probably stay on the trailer because this trailer is primarily going to be used for bales. So we don't need to empty it yet. I think we'll probably bring the drill back with this tractor. Shall we bring it back? Could do. Or actually, the fence needs to be back anyway, so. Probably tab to the fence. That was speedy. 
more fun reversing a dolly trailer. Although you could say, getting practice in. Well, you, yeah, you could say that. On this occasion, it's going to take a lot of practice. Come on, dagger in. We'll get there. We're in. Hooray. Right. Back to the fence. Don't worry, I'm going to probably time lapse this. Just sort everything out and we'll be back in this field in just a second with the drill. It's actually too late. We have passed the time for drilling, which is kind of weird. It is November. Should be able to put wheat in. Um, but no, it, it is too late. We could put grass in, but we don't want grass. So uh, for now, we'll leave that there. The tractor will likely come home again at some point in the winter, but the drill can stay. Um, and we will get the tally handler and bring that home. There we are. We're home. I have a tendency to leave my beacons going. That's probably uh, been picked up on immediately. But yeah, corn, that is really what we're looking at next. So I think if we just have a look into the corn headers, uh, this machine obviously can't take anything super big. <laughs> I couldn't stick that on it, that would be hilarious. But I think, well, it's quite a big field, but really that is, that is what we're gonna have to go with. Oh. Unless, of course, we rent it, but that is not really in our price range. Um, we might be able to push and get that. Maybe. Actually, that's lighter. Same price, but lighter. Shall we try and put a John Deere header on it? That is going to be interesting. Let's have a look. Let's get back over to the store. Uh, we might need a trailer, possibly. We'll see. Uh, but yeah, I just want to see if we can actually run this thing. Well, here we are. We've just turned up in our combine. And you can see the fast food restaurant over there, which I have built. So that is for selling the uh, dried corn. And here is the header. Now, the header actually doesn't look that big. You would have thought this combine would be able to run it. I think the field is fairly flat as well. But we'll just engage everything. Promising, very promising. So we should be alright. And if I'm really careful, I might be able to take this up the road without using a trailer, which will save us money. Um, yeah, there is some traffic. Oh, it's just under rain. Typical. I wasn't planning on doing this in this episode, but I was planning on doing it in this in-game day. So <laughs> hopefully the rain is brief. We'll have to check the weather forecast. Out the way, cars. Let's just quickly check. Oh, it's brief. It's supposed to just be one hour of showers. Oh, please. I'll have to skewer your van. If the cars were intelligent and just pulled over for you, it'd be easy. Right, I think we'll be all right. I will see you at the field, which we'll be harvesting next time, and we will indeed be drying it. We're going to get the dryer. I've just remembered that I've installed the mud mod on this series, so if we ever go into a field when it's been raining, it gets pretty muddy, as you can see. Yeah, very muddy. Uh, and it also makes the combine extremely dirty. Now, we don't want to be harvesting in the rain for that reason, and also because we lose yield. So... Uh, yeah, we just want to really wait for that rain to pass, which will be the next episode, 
and then we can start the worker off in this field. At least it is the perfect shape for a worker. It's just totally square. Yeah, it's basically a square. Um, and then we can cart to, well, we're gonna have to build the uh, dry. I think we'll build it in the yard here. There should be space somewhere. Uh, and then start to, probably here actually. Yeah, start to cart the dried grain to the sell point. Let's just see when the price is at its best. Ah, oh, perfect. So we're actually here at the moment. Couldn't be worse. But in just two months' time, it's going to be at its best. So that's going to be so good. We'll have to get the propane and sort all that out and everything. But that'll all be next time. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.